All right, and now for something completely different. The former National Intelligence Director is revealing a new government report on UFOs will be full of never before seen or heard intel. Frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. We're talking about objects that, um, frankly, um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain, that um, movements that, uh, that are hard to replicate, that we don't have the technology for. Okay, joining us right now to discuss is Lou Elizondo. He is the former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, a Pentagon unit that studied UFOs. Lou, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, so part of the evidence apparently is going to show UFOs or some, you know, they're just unidentified objects, breaking the sound barrier without a sonic boom. How is that possible? Well, I think that's probably the crux of the problem, that we are seeing these, let's call them vehicles, if you will, that are incurring into controlled U.S. airspace that are displaying performance characteristics that are frankly well beyond anything that we can either replicate or, or in some cases really even understand. So when, when you're talking about that, you're, you're talking about how these things are able to do things that we have no idea how it's possible, given the speed and the altitude and things like that, and the turns and everything like that. I, I, I'm sure you've got the top uh, physics experts in the world working on this. Can they come up with any explanation? You know, I, I think as we begin to look at this, we're, we're beginning to realize that a lot of this really isn't breaking the laws of physics. What it's doing is really breaking our understanding of the current laws of physics that we that we are looking at. In essence, um, these things, if you look at quantum physics, there's a lot of modeling right now that suggests that a lot of this performance can be explained uh, if you have a, a really deep understanding of quantum physics. And by the way, you're absolutely right. There's there's five unique observables that these things are, are displaying. One is instantaneous acceleration. The second one is hypersonic velocity. The third one is a bit of an oxymoron, but it's low observability. And then the fourth one is transmedium travel, the ability to operate in different environments. And then the last observable is this, if you will, this weird positive lift or anti-gravity where you have these vehicles with no wings, no control surfaces, no engines, and yet somehow they're able to fly and frankly outperform some of the very best aircraft that we have in our inventory. Unbelievable stuff. So, when, Lou, when people say, oh, you're in that business, uh, how, do you, how do you explain these UFOs? Sure. Well, my business has always been that as an investigator. Uh, I, I was an intelligence officer for the U.S. government, so my business was just to, to find the truth, whatever the truth is, whether it's uh, a it's terrorism investigation or counter-espionage. Yeah, we, we applied the same methodologies we did investigating terrorist, uh, if you will, uh, operations and, and operatives as we, we did with this. And the information is very compelling. It's, it's real. Yeah. Okay, it's real. Are they from another planet? Well, I, I think it's too early to tell. Uh, the real, the three options are that have been presented that is our secret technology, uh, but we've done a terrible job at coordinating yeah. the testing of this technology for decades with ourselves, which is highly unlikely. The second option is that it's foreign adversarial technology, which if you were to ask me would be a huge yeah. intelligence failure sure. of this country because we've been technologically leapfrogged. Or the third option is that it's something completely different. It's If it's not ours and it's not theirs, well, then it's, it's someone or something else. I can't wait for this report to come out. Lou, thank you very much for joining us today. Interesting stuff. Sir, my pleasure.